Hello friends, welcome to a multi-part series where we will be exploring the Kados Vim 2 and upgrading its firmware, monitoring performance, attaching a heatsink, and setting up mining software. This is part 1, upgrading the Vim 2 firmware. If you are like me and started your single board computing adventures on the Raspberry Pi, you may find the firmware update process of the Vim 2 boards a little bit confusing. In this video, I will step through the process of downloading the new firmware, flashing the firmware using the USB method, and updating the system software after the first boot. I am using the single boot Ubuntu image and the Kados Vim 2 board for this demo. If you have not done so already, you'll need to download the latest firmware image from the Kados website. I find it easiest to use Google, however you can also navigate directly to their docs.kados.com website and click on Firmware Resources. There is firmware for both the Vim and Vim 2 boards, so if you're selecting a different image, be sure to download the correct image for your board. I'm using the Vim 2 board, so I will download the Vim 2 firmware as denoted by the Vim or Vim 2 designation at the beginning of the file name. After the download has completed, the file will need to be unpacked. A program like 7-Zip works nicely for this step. One portion of the upgrade process that I will not cover in this video is downloading and installing the USB burning tool. The download is available on the Kados website and I will leave a link in the description. Download and install the USB burning tool as this will be required for the next part of the firmware update process. If you are like me and cannot read Chinese, the first step will be to change the language. Use the second menu from the left to select English. Then use the file menu to select the image to be flashed to the board. Next comes the tricky part and that is setting the Kados board to upgrade mode. I find the most success with entering upgrade mode when I follow this process. With the USB cable already plugged into the PC and the USB burning tool software open, hold the power button on the Kados board and connect the USB cable. Then, quickly move to press the reset button and hold it for about one second while continuing to hold the power button. Release the reset button and continue to hold the power button until the Kados board is recognized by the software. After the board has connected with the PC, check the configuration. I recommend selecting Erase Flash, Normal Erase, and Erase Bootloader options. It is probably best to leave the Reset After Success option unchecked as this will try to boot the board immediately after the firmware has been successfully loaded. Click Start to begin the process. Remember that upgrading the device firmware will erase all files from the system. If you have been using the board and have files that you'd like to keep, please remember to copy them off the device before proceeding with the next steps. This process will take about 10 to 20 minutes, which is plenty of time for a quick break to make a sandwich and enjoy a cup of tea. Success! Click stop to close the connection between the PC and the Vim 2. Unplug the Vim 2 from the PC. At this point, we are finished with the firmware upgrade process. Next, we will take a look at first boot and upgrading the operating system, so connect your keyboard, mouse, and monitor. Log in to the Vim 2 using the password KADAS, all lowercase. Next. You can skip this step, but I'm going to increase the font size to make things easier to read. Let's get connected to the internet. If you're connecting via Wi-Fi, use the Wi-Fi signal tree on the toolbar to select your access point and enter your password. I have chosen to use a wired ethernet connection and I have DHCP disabled on my network, so I need to enter an IP address manually.
you may have noticed that the subnet mask was automatically set as 24. This is fine as it indicates 24 bits for the mask, or a more familiar denotation may be 255.255.255.0. Finally, I'll set the DNS server to one of Google's DNS servers. This allows network traffic to route by friendly names instead of unfamiliar IP addresses. After a quick check to see if I can ping the outside world, it's time to open the software updater, review the list of updates, and click install now. Depending on the number of updates, this process could take some time, so it's a good opportunity to walk around and stretch our legs. Reboot now as the updater recommends, and we're done. Don't forget to like and subscribe, this is part one of a multi-part series. Next time, we will take a look at how to fit our Vim 2 with a heatsink and monitor temperatures.